Now to our good friends and colleagues in Pakistan who help us do everything here in America and are our great confidants. Pakistani officials are blasting a leaked document that reportedly claims Pakistan is supporting the Taliban, which our sources tell us it is. According to the reporting of Britain's The Times newspaper, which is owned by the parent company of this network, and the BBC, which is not, the classified NATO document claims Pakistan's ISI, that's their intelligence agency, is backing the Afghan insurgency, something we've been reporting here for a long time. We're told the document also claims the Taliban is confident it will retake Afghanistan once Western troops get out of there in 2014. Now, Pakistan's foreign minister today rejected the report, calling it old wine in an even older bottle. Joining us now, the managing director of the Washington Institute, Michael Singh, is with us. Michael Singh has served as special assistant to the Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. He's a former senior director for Middle East Affairs at the National Security Council. Sir, it's nice to see you. Hi, Shep. I saw this report today, and I'm like, okay, there's nothing new here. We already know this, don't we? Well, that's right. And, you know, Shep, it's important to keep in mind that NATO spokesmen have said this is not actually an analytical piece by Western intelligence no. agencies. It's a compilation of interrogation reports and reflects the views of Taliban prisoners. But the actual intelligence conclusions, uh, for example, what we heard yesterday from General Clapper and General Petraeus, uh, sorry, uh, DNI Clapper and General Petraeus, right. wasn't much rosier. I mean, what they said was that while the Taliban is sort of on the retreat in those areas where we've put extra troops, in other areas, it remains resilient, and it continues to enjoy safe haven in Pakistan. Uh, and at the same time, those Afghan national security forces, which we've spent a lot of time training, are still riddled with corruption and mismanagement. You know, I, I was speaking with my brother about this the other day, and it's as if you're playing a game of hide-and-seek. And you have a field where you can play hide-and-seek, and, and that border is part of it. On this whole side, you find them, and they got to run and hide somewhere else. But there's this area over here in Pakistan where they can go any time they want. They'll be protected, and we can't go there. Our friends in Pakistan, is that fair? Well, obviously, it's an extraordinarily difficult relationship between the United States and Pakistan, and one that's a great source of frustration for U.S. officials. But I think we have to keep in mind, Shep, that you know, the Pakistanis de are dealing with their own uh, militant threats inside Pakistan. Uh, they feel tremendously insecure. And a lot of people in this region are really not sure what the U.S. commitment will be to their region going forward. I mean, remember that we've already declared when we're going to withdraw our troops from Afghanistan. Uh, the French now are suggesting that we accelerate that schedule. And so they're all kind of looking down the road at 2014. And I think the Pakistanis are looking to increase their leverage however they can, including through these proxy groups. Frankly, that shouldn't surprise us when we're announcing that we're out of there. Well, who in the world thinks that whenever it is we get out of there, 2014, 2020, 2050, whenever the heck it is, that's when they're going to go in and do this, just like is happening in Iraq, just like has happened everywhere in that region from the dawn of American wars there, right? Well, I think the question is, you know, how, how much do you want to signal, frankly, that you're going to be drawing down and when you're going to be drawing down, which is what the president has done, uh, so that forces like the Taliban think they can simply wait us out and frankly, our Afghan allies think that they had better hedge their bets uh, and not sort of hitch their wagons solely to us. I think there's a tactical question there, uh, which adds to the extraordinary difficulty that we would have in any event, Shep. All right.